What's up, we family? We are family. Welcome back to What's Eating Alley. I hope that you all are having a good day, a good week. I'm definitely having a good day and week and I'm feeling blessed and I have no complaints. So this particular recipe, my stuffed bell pepper recipe, is something that I've been cooking for years now. It's one of my favorite um, recipes to cook because it's simple, it's easy, and it's semi-healthy. And I really enjoy it because you don't need like a full side, everything that you really want out of this particular stuffed bell pepper recipe is all in the bell pepper. So the only thing we typically eat it with is a side salad, but I'll show you all of that at the end of the video. If you haven't checked out my last video of the nature cereal, um, go ahead and check that out too after you finish watching this video because one of the ingredients that I used in that video, I'll use in this video as well. But let's get started. I hope that you all enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and also like this video and comment down below if you tried that nature cereal recipe too because I'm really curious to know who has tried that and if you tried it with my twist because if not you're missing out let me just say. Anyway I will show you all the ingredients here and let's get started. My ingredients are ground turkey, chicken broth, brown rice, shredded mild cheddar cheese, parmesan cheese, corn unsalted, coconut milk, bell peppers, mushrooms, onion, jalapeno, and let's get started. So you all see that I'm just rinsing off of my veggies with warm water and apple cider vinegar. So I just put some foil in the bottom of my pan. I'm gonna cut the tops off of my bell peppers, put those aside, and then I'll place the bell peppers into the sheet pan. So as you can see, I'm just cleaning the bell peppers out leaving the tops because I'll cut those up a little bit later to add to my stuffing for the bell pepper. And don't worry if all of your bell peppers don't sit upright in the pan, all you have to do is just trim the bell pepper at the bottom just very slightly so that it will balance in the pan and you don't have to worry about it toppling over. Sometimes I get it perfectly right, sometimes I don't, but the goal is to shave just a little off to even it up, but not have a hole at the bottom of the pepper because you want to keep all that juice and flavor inside the pepper as it cooks in the oven. So next I'm just going to break the stem off of the tops that we cut off of the peppers and then just cut the tops up along with the jalapenos, the mushrooms, as well as the onion. And these will be the veggies that we use to cook with our ground turkey for our stuffed bell peppers. All right, so I just have some grapeseed oil at the bottom of my skillet and I have it preheated on medium high heat. And let's add our veggies. So we're gonna cook the veggies until they're a little bit translucent, but not too soft to where they're kind of creating some water. And once they're translucent, we're gonna add our seasonings in and then we'll add our ground turkey. So you definitely want to heavily season your veggies. So I'm using black pepper. And I love black pepper, so the more the merrier. Onion powder. We're going to add some cayenne. Definitely gives it a little bit more of a kick. 
and it'll balance well with the coconut milk so it won't be extremely spicy. A little bit of sea salt and we're going to cook that down. And then this is a dish you definitely want to season throughout because although we've seasoned the veggies, once you add the ground turkey, you'll definitely want to add more seasoning. But wait, there is more seasoning. So we're also going to add some chili powder. Pile it on heavy. Don't be afraid of the spice. I really like this because it gives a smokiness, yet spice, yet bold flavor, especially along with the oregano and the onion powder and as well as the sea salt. And then once you add the coconut milk towards the end of this recipe, it's just all going to come together and it's going to be a beautiful bite in your mouth. So your veggies are well cooked and now you're just going to add your ground turkey. I definitely like 93% lean, 7% fat ground turkey, but you all choose what you like and it doesn't have to be turkey. It could be chicken, it could be beef, pork, whatever you want, um, whatever you want your protein to be, go for it. So now I'm going to season the meat. I'm going to use Creole seasoning, some more cayenne, some more chili powder as well as garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. As I told you all before, you definitely want to season throughout this dish. Once your meat and veggies are done, just go ahead and give it a taste. Make sure it's the flavor that you want. Alright, so I'm going to add an entire can of corn. This was no salt added corn. Then I'm going to add a half a can of the coconut milk. And yes, this is coconut milk, not water. So I know I told you all that I used the ingredient from the previous video. And that is the coconut. I'm also going to add one cup of the chicken broth. This is also low sodium. One cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And for those of you all that don't like cheese, you can opt out of this. This is not necessary. It's just something I like to add to my stuffed bell peppers. And I'm going to use two bags of the Uncle Ben's rice. All right, so I do like to add a little bit of cheese at the bottom of my peppers just to give it a little additional stringiness from the cheese, which I love, a little bit of meltiness, and then your peppers are ready to stuff. So once you're done stuffing the bell peppers, and I do like to overstuff just a little bit because once the peppers get soft, they'll expand a little bit and you'll have more room to add your cheese later on in the cooking process. But I've preheated the oven to 425 degrees. You're going to cover your pan with additional foil after you've poured the chicken broth at the base of the pan. Adding the chicken broth at the base of the pan just helps to steam the peppers from the base up as well as cook the, your ingredients throughout. So I've let the pepper cook in the oven for 20 minutes on 425 degrees. I am pulling the foil off and they already look great. They've already softened up and now I'm just going to add the cheddar cheese on top of my peppers. Let it cook back in the oven without the foil on for additional 15 minutes and this way the cheese can melt, it can brown a little on top and they'll come out perfectly. And there you have it. They're absolutely beautiful. They've browned a little bit on top. They have a little bit of crispiness and yet the cheese is still melty. And let's see what they look like on the inside. 
right, there she is, guys. Just put a little green onion on top. I had some left over in the fridge. Let's cut this baby open. Alright guys, you know what time it is. Tasting time. Delicious. Let's go. Of course, I gotta try the part that has the cheese on it. And I love that the pepper is soft, yet still has some texture to it. Have some. And guys, I did it again. Just the right amount of seasoning. I know it does not have a coconut flavor because I'm sure that is something that you all will probably have a question about. I just like using the coconut milk because it gives it a little bit of creaminess without the coconut taste. So good. <laughs> anyway, guys. So you guys know I'm about to sit down and actually have dinner with my husband, but I hope that you all try out this recipe. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below because I want to know who tried that nature cereal. Anyway, I hope that you all have a good night and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.